All right, so the Magician's Workbook, Practicing the Rituals of the Western Tradition by Donald Tyson. Anytime you see a Donald Tyson book, go ahead and grab it. I mean, if you into the whole occult sciences and shit like Donald Tyson book, grab it. So this book right here, it consists of 40 exercises. All right. So the book is aimed at taking the absolute beginner and going through these 40 exercises, which at the end of it, the student will be a legit magician. All right. So basically on the book is aimed at teaching magic by doing magic. You know what I'm saying? And not so much so just a long book about magical theories in history. You know what I'm saying? So it's more about learn how to do magic by doing these exercises hands-on. You know what I'm saying? That's how the book is written. The author says, in the beginning, the exercises are more simple. In the latter part of the book, the exercises get a little more complicated. I've read the introduction chapter along with um, several of the exercises. So I'm definitely glad to have the book, but we can flip through it. Just to give you an idea. That's the first exercise is self-awareness, ego denial. So that exercise right there is about how for seven consecutive days, each day from the time you finally get out of bed until the time you go back to sleep, you spend the whole day um, trying not to say out loud the words, I, my, me, mine, myself, etc. You know what I'm saying? Basically referring to the ego. You know what I'm saying? So if your mom asks you, like, did you do the laundry? You know what I'm saying? Like, the answer should be something like, the laundry is done. You know what I'm saying? Without having to re so basically just getting around not referring to the ego, you know what I'm saying? As far as you can say like, yes, I did the laundry. You know what I'm saying? I did my laundry. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, there's a method to the madness he describes. After every exercise, then at the end of that exercise, the author gives the commentary of why He's giving that exercise and what it's meant to do, what purpose it's meant to serve. All right, so let's just flip this. Uh, Inward perception. Uh, what else? Concentration, thoughts, strength, sitting exercises, color breathing. Uh, Breathing, poor breathing, the nine seven breath, candle burning, some water boiling, geometric shapes, leaving the body. Let's see the astral temple. Or awareness. As you can see, this is definitely a must have book if if this is something you into. Vibrating the names of power. Like it's definitely he's definitely covering a lot of 
Like, I don't know if I'm going to do all 40 um, exercises. I don't know. I'm going to wait till I read all of the book first, really, before I, before I decide what I want to what I want to practice and what I don't. I need to get a little under, a better understanding of what it's all about. But so projecting the pentagram. Well, that's a ritual. Okay, ritual. So as you see, um, this is definitely it's definitely a must-have as far as I'm concerned, cleaning prayer. Like, regardless what you into, you know what I'm saying? Like, all through this book, there's, look at all this shit. I mean, it's a lot of shit that you can, that you can just cater to your own craft. You know what I'm saying? Whatever type of spiritual practices you into. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to show some of that. Let's see, what's that? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta read this shit. But anyway. Magic, learn it by doing it. Once again, the book we're reading from.